Hi, I'm Rohas Nagpal. In this video, we are going to look at some of the security related options in the Firefox browser. Let's begin with clicking on the preferences. Now, this is the kind of window that's going to open up next. Now we are right now in the general tab. There's not much to configure here. Here it basically says whenever Firefox starts, what should happen? So in my case, I've selected that it should show my home page. There are other options that you could choose here. And I've set up the Asian School of Cyberlaws website as my default home page. I have another option. What do I want to do with files that I'm going to download? So I could say save them to the downloads folder or I could click choose and change the folder that I want downloads to go into. Personally, I prefer to choose this option which says always ask me where to save files. At any screen, if you feel you need more information, you can simply click on the question mark in the bottom left hand corner. The next we have the tabs window. It makes sense to keep a few of these options checked so that you know in case you accidentally closing multiple tabs it warns you before that. Same way before you open multiple tabs that might slow down Firefox you would need to be warned. So those are the simple things that you could do here. Going into content it's always advisable to have the block pop-up windows. If you want you can add exceptions here. So for example you don't mind if Facebook gives you a pop-up. So you could simply say allow. Later, if you change your mind, you could simply say remove the site from here. Then we go on to the applications. Now here is where we are going to configure what Firefox should do when encountering different kinds of files. So as we can see, almost every kind of file is here. Now let's take an option of Microsoft Word document. Now what should Firefox do when dealing with it? We could say always ask us what to do or save the file. Or we could use Microsoft Word by default to open that application. Or you could go and choose another application which could be used. Next we go to the privacy. Now here it's advisable that we choose the first option. Tell sites that I do not want to be tracked. Another very important feature here is what should Firefox do with your history? Now currently we've said remember history. In this case, Firefox will remember your browsing, download, form and search history and keep cookies from websites that you visit. Some other options we could say, we could say never remember history or use custom settings for history. Now here we are presented with another set of options. If we say always use private browsing mode, it would of course require Firefox to restart if you choose this option. After this, Firefox is not really going to store any records of our history. Personally, I don't really feel the need to use it. But again, you would decide depending on what you do with the Firefox browser. Then we have remember my browsing and download history. Remember search and form history. So whatever information you filled up in various forms. And it says accept cookies from sites. Now here we could set exceptions that which are the websites from which we do not want cookies to be stored. Then what do we do with third party cookies? Whether it's always to be accepted or only from visited sites or never. Now this from visited is an interesting option. What this means is, let's say you visited example1.com. It should not allow you to access cookies or download cookies from example2.com because well you've never visited example2.com so that's what would happen if you say from visited if you say always then when you go to example1.com it could end up downloading cookies from example2.com then you have an option about how long should you keep the cookies till they expire till you close your firefox or every time you would be asked i have chosen the keep until they expire now we can have a look at some of the cookies that have already been downloaded on this machine. For example, let me consider a website called surveymonkey.com. Now I haven't really visited this website in quite a few months. So let's see what kind of cookies they've dumped on my machine. As we can see, they've really kept a lot of cookies. Clicking on them one by one, I can see the name of the cookie, its content, the domain that it is coming from, 
the path and when it is going to actually expire we can scroll down and we can analyze the various cookies that we have here if you want you can remove a particular cookie or if you click here it will remove all the cookies that are stored on your browser let's go back here another option is should firefox clear history when it closes in my case i keep it unchecked but you could check it and configure further settings that whenever you quit firefox what all should it automatically clear your browsing and download history your active logins form and search history cookies cache even your saved passwords site preferences and offline website data all this could be automatically cleared if you select these options in my case i don't really want to do that next we go on to the security tab here of course we should keep these three checked the first one would warn you whenever a site tries to install an add on of course you can add an exception here as in my case i have allowed these three websites to actually add an add on on my browser by clicking on these you could remove them or you could simply remove all these sites then here we say block reported attack sites as well as block reported web forgeries makes sense then under passwords we have remember passwords for sites now obviously if you are going to be using a firefox browser on a public computer or maybe a cyber cafe or a computer which your friends also access you would keep this unchecked obviously you wouldn't want the browser to remember your passwords in my case i want to store these passwords i can look at the exceptions so if i have got some sites whose passwords i don't want to save they would show up in this space then of course it may be a good idea to use a master password a master password is used to protect sensitive information like site passwords if you create a master password you will be asked to enter it once per session when firefox retrieves saved information protected by the password but one thing you've got to remember is if you put the master password and you forget it you will be unable to access any of the information protected by it so it's your call whether you want to set this or not although it may be a good idea you can click on this button and look at all the passwords that you've already saved and if you want to export this passwords to a list you could click here it's always a good option to choose this obfuscate usernames and passwords and then you could click on export passwords you could choose where you want to save it you can choose different options whether you want an xml or a csv file and you could say save so it says okay 357 passwords have been exported successfully we say okay in future if you want to import the saved passwords we can click on this option going back let's have a look at the advanced options now here the first thing is the general which is not very relevant to security aspects data choices again not very relevant the network now well you could configure how firefox connects to the internet so you look at your settings now right now i am simply using my system proxy settings but in your case you may decide to use a manual proxy configuration that's totally up to you then it tells us about our cached web content which is currently using 56.5 mb of disk space here we could click on clear now and all this would then be removed then there's an option here which says tell me when a website asks to store data for offline use it's advisable to keep this checked but of course you could set up exceptions for this if you want clicking on update it's recommended to allow firefox to automatically install updates this will definitely improve security in a major way and it's advisable to keep this checked warn me if this will disable any of my add-ons now you may have a lot of add-ons in your browser applications such as for example fire ftp now you would prefer to be informed that if firefox is going to update it would end up disabling your add-on 
then you can take a call on how you're going to actually handle it. We have another option show update history. So it can show up in the past how the following updates on what dates they've been installed. Then we go to certificates. Well, it's better to keep the option here that when a server requests for my personal certificate, I would be asked every time. If you don't really understand much about how digital signature certificates work, you don't have to go much into detail. You can simply leave this option checked. Then let's have a look at the history. Now here we can see all our history. So clicking on that it says history from yesterday, the last seven days, this month, January, that's the previous month and December and November again, previous months. We can also see our download history. Now, if you want, you can click on this button and it would immediately clear all your history. It's quite a simple option. We have bookmarks. Well, bookmarks are very convenient if you want to store a, a site name and maybe later you would want to actually visit that. So you can categorize them into various categories also. Fairly simple to use. Going in tools, we can click on add-ons and then we can have a look at what all add-ons are there in our browser. So of course in the first screen you can choose from different options what you would like to download. If you click on extensions, you would see what all extensions are already there on your browser. You may have noticed in some cases where you have something called the Babylon toolbar which comes into your computer. It's a very very irritating thing and if you want to remove that, you just have to click on extensions locate that particular extension from here and you could simply click on the remove button here you can see some of the extensions that i have added one of these is very interesting which is called light beam light beam is a firefox add-on that allows you to see the third parties that are collecting information about your browsing activities with and without your consent to see what information Lightbeam has collected, I go to Tools and say Show Lightbeam. Now it says that data has been gathered since Jan 20th, 2014. That's when I installed this. Since then, this particular browser has been used by me to visit 26 sites and I have ended up connecting with 102 third party sites. So you could look at this in a graphical representation or in a clock kind of representation or a list kind of representation. I can save my data, I can reset my data. If you find this interesting, you could definitely give it a try. That's all for now. I hope you found this video useful. Stay safe.